Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a shirt on Roblox. So if you want to make a classic shirt on Roblox, it's really simple. So I'll show you guys exactly how to do it in this video today. But first things first, you're going to want to head over to create so that you can actually get the template for the shirt to create it. So first things first, just head over to create out of the four options at the top of the screen right here. And once you click on create, it's going to bring you to this page right here. Now, once you're on this page creations, you're going to want to go to create.roblox.com in case you're not already here. And once you're here, it's going to load for a bit and it'll show you all of your pages or creations. Now from here, you're going to want to go to avatar items out of these four options below in creations. As you can see in the creator dashboard, I'm on creations and you want to look for avatar items. So there's experiences events and there's avatar items, development items, you want to look for avatar items. Once you find it, you're going to want to click on it and then you're going to want to go to shirts out of these three options right here. Not t-shirts, not fans, but shirts. Now once you find shirts, click on it and it will bring you to this page here and you can click upload asset. We're not uploading anything yet, we just need to get the template for the shirt. Now once you click on upload asset, it's going to bring you to this page here and here you're going to want to click on learn more right below asset type as you can see right here, learn more. Once you find learn more, go ahead and click on it and it will open up a new page for you right here on classic clothes. Thing. And here you're gonna want to scroll down until you see the option for the shirt. There's also the pants template, but you want to take the shirt template. So right click on it and save the image as whatever you want. And once you save it, you can go ahead and close out of the Roblox tab. So now that we have it, you're gonna to want to go to editing software of your choice. I'm going to be using Photopea, which is like Photoshop except online, but you could use whatever you want. So go ahead and search for Photopea or whatever software you want, and then go ahead and open it. Now once you head over to Photopea, and once you open Photopea, it's gonna bring you this page right here, and you're just going to want to drag the file onto here. So you open the Roblox template. Roblox shirt template. Now once you open the template, you're going to want to get to start creating your shirt. So first things first, you're going to want to remove all the colors and make it blank right there. So this is pretty simple. As you can see, it's color coordinated with the figure. So the back is the dark blue and then red is the front, yellow is the sides, etc, etc. So make sure you look at that and know where you're putting all the designs and everything. But once you've done that, you can actually go ahead and remove all of these colors. So you want to make it completely blank like this, I went ahead and did it, but you can pause the video and go ahead and do that real quick. Now once you do that, you're going to want to actually add the texture for it, a shading anyway. This makes it look a lot better, it looks a lo make, makes it look a lot more realistic. So go ahead and search up Roblox Shirt Shading Template PNG and go ahead and download one. So you want to go to the actual website and make sure that you have the PNG. So make sure it's completely clear in the background and it doesn't have those checkered spaces or anything and that's actually clear. So now once you have it, you can drag it into here and resize it so that it fits the frame. And once you have it here, you're going to want to add the next part of the shirt. So just make sure that it fits perfectly like this, as you can see right here. It doesn't have to fit perfectly, but it looks better if it does. Now I'm going to add texture to the shirt. So this also makes it look a lot better, a lot more realistic, because it looks like it's an actual texture or actual shirt. And once you do that, you are going to want to make sure that the shading or the layering of the shirt is actually correct. Because if it's not, then it's going to mess everything up. So make sure that the shading is above the texture. And then once you do that, you're just going to want to make sure the layering is correct and everything is rasterized. And then you can actually head over to image in the top left corner and then click adjustments. And then you can change the color or hue of saturation of the texture. So make sure you have the right layer selected and then you can go ahead and customize this however you want. So I'll choose this color right here, but you can go ahead and customize it as much as you want. Now, once you have done that, we're going to want to change the next part of the shirt and we actually want to change how it fits. So if you want to make a short sleeve shirt, then you're going to want to remove most of the sleeve. If you want to make a long sleeve shirt, maybe you just want to remove the end like this. But I think that I'm going to make a short sleeve shirt, so I'll remove all of this. And then I'm going to grab a new texture for the rim, the rib of the actual shirt. So I'm going to resize this so that it fits just on the end, or it's really skinny anyway. And then once I do that, I'm going to put it on the end of the shirt. So the rib of the shirt. So I'm going to go ahead and transform it down all the way to this small size right here. And then I'm going to actually make sure that it's completely flat. So you can just go ahead and crop it if you want to, or you can just scale it down and then you can scale it down so that it's just barely fits on the edge of the shirt. And then you can go ahead and layer it all the way across. This makes it look pretty nice. So I'd suggest doing this, but you don't have to do it, of course. Once you've done it for one of them, you can just copy and paste it and then just spread it all the way across the shirt. And then you can merge it all together so like this and then you can copy and paste it and then put it also on the main body of the shirt as well. So you can just move it up here and put it at the edge of this like this. 
So that makes it look a lot better, so I'd suggest doing this, but of course you don't have to, like I said. But that makes it look a lot better. Now once you've done that, you also have to remake the armholes for the shirt. So you probably don't want the shirt going all the way to the bottom. So just make sure they have enough of the shirt removed that it looks normal. So if you're making a long sleeve, don't cover the entire arm. Cover most of it, but leave a little bit at the bottom. If you're making short sleeve, remove a lot of it. But once you've done that, you also want to make the neck hole. So go ahead and remove a section of the shirt right here. And if you want to make sure that it's completely in the center, you can grab the crop tool and see how many pixels it actually is to the edge. You want it to be exactly 38 or 39 pixels. So go ahead and check that. If it's in the middle, then you can keep it like that. Now, as you can see, this looks pretty good, and I'm going to say that I'm fine with this. So I'm going to click File in the top left corner of the screen and Export As, and you want to make sure that you export it as a PNG. Make sure you export it as a PNG and that there's no background and that's actually clear. If it does have a background, then that will actually ruin the shirt. So make sure it has no background and make sure that the width is 585 and the height is 559. So 585 by 559. So make sure you have those dimensions like that and you can go ahead and save the PNG. So make sure that's a PNG like I said and you can go ahead and check it and see if it's actually clear in the background. But once you've done that, you can go back to Roblox. Now once you're on Roblox, you're going to want to go back to the create page. Once you're on the create page, go back to the avatar items. On the avatar items, you're just going to want to go to shirts, like before, just shirts instead of the t-shirts. And depending on if you want to upload it to your account or if you want to upload it on a group, you can choose the creator right here. I'm going to upload it from a group, but you can choose to upload it from your main account as well. So go ahead and choose whatever creator you want, and then you're going to want to head over to shirts. Or you can just go to upload asset as well, it doesn't really matter. But once you head over to upload asset, you're going to want to make sure that the asset type is a shirt. And then once you've chosen the asset type, you can go down to upload and you want to upload the file that you just exported. So go ahead and upload that to the Roblox website. And then once you do that, it'll load for a bit and it'll load it up right here. And you can name the shirt whatever you want and you can put in a description and just go ahead and do that. It doesn't really matter what you do, but you can just go ahead and do it real quick. And once you do it, you can just click upload for, and it's going to cost 10 Robux. So keep that in mind. And you just click upload, once you upload it, it will be on Roblox, but you still have to put it on sale and choose the price. So go ahead and upload it real quick. And once you finish uploading it, it's going to bring to this page right here. As you can see, it brings it to avatar items. And if you go to shirts, it'll actually show up as you can see here, plain INT. So it's going to load for a bit because you have to check it and make sure that it's, it can be allowed on the Roblox website. We want to click on it and make sure they toggle on sale. And then you want to set the price for it. So go ahead and put in whatever price you want. You'll only get 70% of the earnings though. So keep that in mind when you're setting the price. But go ahead and put in whatever price you want and click save changes. And it is now on sale. It might not be on sale right away because, like I said, they have to monitor what goes on the Roblox website. So they have to go ahead and manually check it first. But once they check it, it will be uploaded. So that is how you can create a shirt for Roblox. So I hope this video is helpful. If it was, I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe. Leave any questions you have in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them and I'll see you guys next time.